all right so here we are going to talk about how to create error bars or confidence interval bars so let's start and create it first of all what i will do i'll take this sales right click on this sales field and drag it to the rows you'll get a pop up here i am interested in average sales after that i will drag this order data as well by clicking right click and leave it here and here i will go with month here after that you will get something like a line chart you can change it to bar once that is done i'll create a calculated field which will have some conditions about let's say some error for example i have a create calculated field i'll give this as standard error and here i will maybe write a formula like standard deviation of sales divided by square root of count of sales this is one of the formula for finding the standard error and if you want to find the formula for 95% confidence interval the formula will look like either you can go with this or double slashes for commenting and you can go for 1.96 into standard deviation of sales divided by square root of count of sales and this entire will go in a bracket so this is one of the formula for finding the 95% confidence interval so either i can go with this or the other one so let's go with this one and let's proceed after that what i want is i want to create a calculated field which will help me to find the sales lower bar so i'll create one more calculated field this is i can give name as sales lower bar and i will write a formula average of sales minus sales margin which is nothing but this one standard error so we can write standard error because we give the give, give the name as standard error i click okay or if you want to be on the proper format we can go with sales margin that is also fine and here it will automatically change after that i'll if you want we can put this in a bracket as well so ss there will not be any difference but if you want we can do that after that we'll create one more calculated field which is sales upper bar which is again our average sales plus sales margin and we can put that in the break bracket as well click okay what else after that i have to create one more calculated field which i can give the name as sales bar length which is nothing but sales upper bar minus sales lower bar so i have created three calculated fields now what i will do i'll put this lower bar in the detail shelf also sales upper bar in the detail shelf i'll go to this axis right click there is an option of add reference line i'll go to the band and in the band i will select per cell because i want the confidence interval per cell per bar i'll select the value let's say i'll go with lower bar and here i'll remove this the label none and also i'll go and select here upper bar and make this as none as well here i'll go and click on the line and maybe 
based on the thickness of the line you can decide and also i don't want this fill so i'll make this as none you can see that something is coming up let me make this as entire view so that you will have a good view of it now what else we require we, we basically require some line in front of this as well so for that i'll drag this uh, second copy or basically sales bar length which i have or i can say sales lower bar in the row shelf i'll put this sales lower bar in the row shelf something happened here now what i'm looking for i'll go here to the marks card of sales lower bar and then i'll change this to a gant first of all and what i will do i'll put this bar length in the size and then i'll reduce the size to zero so this is basically now the bar length which is nothing but if you check the formula we created this right upper bar minus lower bar it's a bar length which we are getting that means if i have this bar the gap between this black line and this black line is nothing but this one now my task is simple i just have to go and make it dual axis you can see that here everything is fine if you want we can make it synchronize axis uncheck and remove the header here now you see the lines coming in and after that obviously you can change this to different color let's say i want this one as a black one we'll go ahead and select black and if you want to change this bar you can very well do that as well let's I'll go and open a notepad i'll select this color maybe which is a blue shade and click okay and you can see that this is how my confidence interval line is coming in so this is very much important and uh, i worked for some of the clients and they wanted this type of requirement so that is how you can able to achieve that you can create your custom calculations as well as of now i did this calculation of sales margin as per the formula given by maybe a business and business may have some different formula as well so based on that we can create the formula and accordingly this lines can be created so hope this makes sense see you in the next tips and tricks till then happy analyzing